There's a new push to raise money to build the largest fallen heroes memorial in U.S. history. It's called the I Gave 50 Cents campaign, and a lady from Tulsa gave the very first donation. Two News reporter Asia Vickers is here to explain. Asia. Well, Jason, the memorial will be built in Texas. Organizers say it will be the length of five football fields. Since the Gulf War, so many have given their lives to maintain the freedoms we have in this country. That's why Tanya Evans says their legacy needs to be remembered in the form of a fallen heroes memorial. The unique thing about this memorial is, first of all, it will be the only living memorial, meaning that we are still at war. It's a $15 million project to be built within the next two years. And while it sounds like a lot of money to raise, organizers say it doesn't take that much. This campaign it puts it in a context where average people like me and you, where we know that we don't have 15 million, we know that we have 50 cents. It'll be different from other memorials because the portraits of each fallen soldier will be etched in. Names will also be added as soldiers lose their lives. Hundreds of architects submitted ideas for how the memorial should look. There are now five finalists. One will be voted on not only by organizers, but also the public. After hearing about the project, one Tulsa waitress made history Friday night by giving the first donation. I said, would you give me 50 cents? And she said, well, yeah, I'll give you 50 cents. She says, I'll give you more. So she walked away from the table, and she came back with a $5 bill. That $5 bill covers 10, 10 people. Since this is the first donation, she will have her name, picture, and $5 bill become part of the memorial. Evan says it's a great start to the campaign. And no matter what money comes their way, she knows 50 cents at a time this memorial will be built. While organizers say they want the monument built within the next couple of years, their goal is to have the groundbreaking on September 11, 2011. Asia Vickers, 2 News, works for you.